Hey guys, it's Tina and I am back for another car chat video. So I ended up having to run an extra couple of errands and I decided since I'm out and about and driving, even though I said I wasn't going to talk about these people, I'm gonna talk about it because I have time, okay? I have time and I'm already worked up from the last car chat that I did. Check the link, I'll leave, which side should it be away? What side would it be on this side? I think it might be on this side, but either way, my playlist for my car chats are linked below. So check that out. I know you guys, you guys enjoyed car chats. A lot of you subscribe to me for car chats and I haven't been doing them. So I decided, you know what? Let's indulge in a little pettiness because I have the time, like I said. I am just gonna do a one and done video on these messy ass trashy people in the YouTube space because it's not just limited to beauty YouTube anymore, but the majority of it is beauty related. So anyway, we're just gonna talk about all of them, okay? Cause I don't, I don't have time to be doing separate videos on all these trashy people because most of what I have to say can be summarized and condensed into this video and I pretty much I'm gonna say the same thing about all of them they are all trash listen they are all trash so we'll start out with um, probably the least the least trashy well is he the least though mm, not really okay so Patrick star Patrick star hmm so Patrick star is a beauty influencer here on YouTube also on Instagram because you know of course you spend outside of YouTube now but he has always been one of the bigger beauty boys in the community right he was one of the first ones and the first thing that turned me off about Patrick star is that his name obviously was inspired by Jeffree Star and he has said this that Jeffree Star is or was one of his biggest um, idols or inspirations or motivators whatever the frick the point is his name was inspired by Jeffree Star so he wanted to align himself and affiliate himself with Jeffree Star first strike you're almost out okay then I've tried to watch a couple of his videos like I've tried you know you hear about these popular people on YouTube when you guys recommend people and this is way back in the day right I've tried to watch his videos I've tried to, to like sit through some of his things and I'm just like I cannot I cannot I don't like his voice I don't like his temperament I don't like how he speaks I don't I just don't like him okay so I don't care I've never really watched him Patrick Starr I don't care I don't like your personality we're not gonna job bye okay <laughs> so he has two strikes already for me right as far as the people that I choose to watch here on YouTube his friendship with Manny MUA made him a little bit more enduring when Manny MUA was enduring to me but Patrick Starr has just never been on my radar like I don't care but through the years like there have been little like a yeah, little chatter about him and his attitude and his little diva ish ways but not too much has been said about Patrick Starr until recently. So he has now launched his brand One Size in Sephora and I think he was trying to piggyback on the momentum of his successful MAC collaboration. So he did a couple of collaborations with MAC. One specific product that stands out is the setting powder which was MAC setting powder anyway but I think it was in like a different shade like he tweaked the shade a little bit. People love that setting powder just because people love that MAC setting powder anyway. That MAC has some good products okay so if they re-promote things or relaunch things or like sell it in a different packaging you're not getting trash formulations necessarily it's just the same thing being regurgitated. So anyway he did his little powder with MAC and based on the success of that I guess that really pushed him to release his own brand so the great thing about his brand is it's available in Sephora stores he has the partnership with Sephora I wonder if he's funded by one of those investment brands that have an affiliation with Sephora hence he was able to get into Sephora whatever I don't care I don't care that much to dig into it but anyway he's in Sephora now his products uh, aren't selling that well okay the launch uh, didn't sell out not everybody 
topic was interesting. Not many people spoke about it because he launched like a makeup remover spray and wipes and stuff. No one cares, okay? He released the powder as well. No one cares. Everybody has their powder. Like we've moved on beyond whatever he's trying to sell. So his brand didn't really launch with great success. And some of his products are already on sale. I know the eyeshadow palette was on sale like this. And I was like, oh damn, they're selling that quick, ain't it? So his products aren't doing well. And I feel like because of that, he's trying to hype his little self up, his little brand up, so he can get more sales. His first like tiptoe into drama was his video on the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty launch. He did a review video where pretty much he promoted his own brand and compared his brand to rare beauty and tried to say oh go get my one size over rare beauty and people weren't feeling that because you know the selena gomez stands are like what sir no we're not playing that game so anyway they ain't checking for one size and he kind of stepped on a lot of toes with that rare beauty um launch right so the next thing this was before this video but i i just remembered it he had an interaction with a fellow YouTuber, a fellow influencer here on YouTube. A lot of people just call her a fan, but she's a she's an influencer as well. She has a pretty decent she had a pretty decent um, YouTube channel when she met him, but she met him in person and there is a little video clip of her with him and he rolled his eyes when she came to take the picture with him as if he couldn't be bothered like come on get he like scooted her on in like come come you're bothering me come take this picture and get out my face so that was his like first real taste of drama but it didn't really go anywhere people were like oh yeah he has a diva attitude and you know people are not feeling him for that but it wasn't as big a deal as like other dramas that other people are in am i supposed to turn yeah, I think I'm supposed to turn over there. Hold on now, wait a minute. Give me a little chance to come over. So that was his first tiptoe. But the second one was the one size thing that really made its rounds. Now, more recently, he has been called out for partying with Tana Mo Mo Mojo? Tana, Tana, what's the frick is her name? Tana Mojo, who is throwing all these COVID parties. She's hanging out and that chick already has health problems and she's out here spreading her germs or whatever. And he was, again, caught on camera tongue kissing Tana and it was nasty okay the way they were tonguing each other is just like oh my yeah. I just ooh, it felt sticky because she smokes and I'm just like her breath must stink and I don't know about his breath but I'm just like all the germs and the tonguing and the juices and the oh let me tell you a little quick story okay when I was 15 I hadn't gotten my first kiss yet I was 15 and we were having, like me and my friends, we there were four of us, and we were having the conversations, you know how teenagers talk, and we're like, oh, what would you do with a boy, ba 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 Mind you, 15, big old age, you know. By, by 15 these days, these kids are getting into all kinds of things. Anyway, I hadn't kissed anybody yet, but we were like, all right, that's summer we're gonna have our first kiss, ba 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 But we were so grossed out about the thought of tongue kissing. <laughs> like, we were like, oh, we're just gonna kiss like this, but we're not gonna do the tongue thing because the tongue thing was all gross and stuff and we it was a mess okay and in Jamaica oral sex is a whole situation so we were like we will never ever have oral sex okay listen okay if your kids are around just send them away we're talking right now as grown-ups okay so we were like oh I'm never sucking dick ever like blowjobs ew gross and then we're like if a guy ever went down on us how we're not gonna kiss him after like it was a whole immature situation okay it was a hot mess like oh I would have a guy go down on me but like if I never had to kiss him or see him again like <laughs> 15 nowadays if you say that like they're sucking dick so quick I'm just like how are you 11 sucking dick in the in the middle school what are you doing you are supposed to be a child you're supposed to be innocent anyway Anyway, that's neither here nor there the point is they were tonguing each other down child and I was like oh my god I got an infection just seeing that video and I couldn't take it it was gross when did mama clap to watch where I go pussy Cha. anyway anyway <laughs> why what a piece of excitement in the parking lot here today you know I'm on the spot there now come hurry up drive go on let me get your spot so um y'all I don't have a backup camera in my car my car is a 2007 yes yeah, so we didn't have that technology yet at least not mine 
I ain't have a backup camera so I could back up child. I could parallel park. I could do all of that without a backup camera. That's how you need to learn to drive. Listen, Mr. Ford truck, wait till my park. What? Mm. What is occurring? Lord, the pot, the spot tight, but there's snow on the ground. Anyway, I'm be the next to the fire chief, rotted. Anyway, now I'm a park bad. Hold on, me have a park good. Come on, hurry up, come from behind me. Anyway, so after that video, people are like, oh, so you're just gonna go to COVID parties now? Is that what you're doing? Because a lot of influencers have been called out for attending these parties and large gatherings, even though we're in a whole pomegranate, right? And they should be setting an example as influencers that young people look up to. Anyway, Patrick Starr and Tana and all of them don't care about that. All the tiktok -y people, they don't care. Anyway, so that was the first video he was called out about. Then the second video, why am I talking so long about this? The second video was him defending, what's the next one named? Nikita Dragon, because she's also doing the parties and stuff and they're not wearing masks, nobody's wearing masks. And he was like, oh, y'all better not cancel Nikita Dragon. Uh-uh, and he was talking about this bitches, all that and people are like you know what he's cancelled but to me he's just trying to be relevant he's trying to get his brand to pick up in sales he's trying to be out there so y'all be talking about him and it ain't working because people still ain't buying that brand it's still on sale sorry Patrick some people thrive on drama and it works for them it's not working for you sweetie so try again because you're not the type that can get away with being in drama so bye to Patrick Star again never liked him don't care okay where there's smoke there's fire so my spirit in a texa listen listen let me tell you something in jamaica we say when your spirit not text somebody just know that okay so my spirit don't take him so what that means is if there's a vibe if your gut feeling is telling you mm -mm, something ain't, ain't savory in the sauce then trust your instincts trust your gut and my instincts say me not trust patrick star me not like him next anyway the next one is I mean, I guess we can lump them together. Nikita Dragon and Tana Mojo, they're out here partying with all the tiktok -y people and they're just running amok out here in these streets when we should all be social distancing and being wise about gathering around other people, okay? Because the infection rate is crazy in California where they're at. Like, I think it's one in five people are infected with COVID and people are dying left and right and these people are just out there like, I don't care, I'm living my best life, okay? So them, listen. I never liked any of them and I don't care. On top of it, Nikita Dragon is Miss Blackfish, okay? She loves to race bait, okay? She loves to switch in and out of whatever race she's feeling that day. Sometimes she's darker than me and I'm like this, this bitch, right? But she wanna say, well, I'm Asian so that's why I have these colors. Like, what is wrong with these people? What is, what is wrong with them? They love to put on black as a costume because it's more just like, what's your name, Esther? What's your name, what a girl name? Lord of mercy, Amanda Ensing, Miss Blackfish to the world. They love to claim being mixed and being more ethnically ambiguous because apparently they think that's what's selling, okay? So y'all can put on our skin and sell it, okay? dirty bitch so nikita dragon yeah whatever never liked her either she's way canceled and the thing about it is she could do so much better she could have so many more opportunities if she wasn't the way she was on social media if, if she just didn't involve herself in the drama because she's transgender and let's be honest she is beautiful she wears beautiful outfits see she's always slain okay the wigs are beautiful the outfits are gorgeous she stunts okay so she could do so much better if she just cleaned up her act but i don't wish her any success because she's just trash okay trash okay moving on esther ensing <laughs> <laughs> Miss Esther, you, listen, did you see Miss Esther? I don't even want to get into this. Amanda Ensing is a, oh God, what do you call her? A huge Trump supporter. She is racist and then she invokes Christianity and the Bible as the cloak that should protect her against being canceled because, oh, I'm a conservative and I should be allowed to have my own views. Why is it so hot? Uh-uh. She should be allowed to have her own views and you can have your own views, but when you're... Your own views are racist, transphobic, 
homophobic and just all the phobic okay when your beliefs affect other people and their rights you're done in my eyes she's homophobic she doesn't believe in same-sex marriage she doesn't this this and the other and it's like you are a solid bitch okay so i don't care about esther ensing then she's talking about how she's esther all of a sudden and she had done a sponsored post with sephora and people went after sephora like i know you ain't working with this bitch you better cancel her real quick and sephora said listen we're severing ties with her we ain't know what was going on but we mm -mm, we ain't working with her no more she went on was it fox nbc cnn it can be cnn some little show where she come upon some new show where she was talking about cancer culture and how she got canceled and now she's starting a new brand where oh you should be allowed to have whatever beliefs make makeup great again like you f oh my god how dusty can you be where you're gonna take a hate slogan one that was used by white supremacists to now spin it to make it about makeup what a dusty bitch i can't Ooh, the things i want to happen to these people is just not she's a joke okay she's canceled i don't care never watched her again another person i didn't watch and she's another race baiter because she was white as hell when it suited her and now she's switching over to i'm mixed i'm latina look at my curly hair look at my dark skin she was blonde haired before and pale skin now all of a sudden she wants to embrace her thick sides so she can get sponsorships that she thinks is only going to black people because now black people are the trend you dusty dirty bitch listen i cannot okay moving on who else we got we got jeffree star do we need to keep talking about jeffree star jeffree star is trash and so is shane dawson now shane dawson is even more canceled because him and trisha law trisha is trash as well so let's not talk about them being anybody getting away with anything okay but trisha is no longer friends with Shane Dawson or she's saying that whatever I don't care she's saying she's no longer friends with Shane Dawson because he never spoke out against Jeffree Star when Jeffree Star talked shit about her so here's what happened okay the hairstylist for Jeffree Star the one that does his wigs and stuff hair by Jay hair by Jay so remember they went on a Vegas trip last valentine so it was a year ago they went on this vegas trip it's been spoken about and on that trip trisha went shane went of course rylan i guess the here by jay guy some other guy taj remember taj they all went on this trip and they were all picking on trisha talking about trisha and making jokes about her making fun about her weight her clothing the fact that she rents her house and all this stuff pretty much calling trisha baroque fat with bad skin and bad hair okay i didn't make this up this is what they said so she left the trip early and um taj who is one of the friends that went with with them he's a friend of jeffree star actually made a video talking about how he's no longer friends with jeffree star because he just can't keep being friends with somebody that's so toxic and he spoke about the vegas trip where they spoke bad about somebody else that was there and he didn't like that and he actually reached out to Trisha because Trisha was the person he was talking about. He didn't expli explicitly say that but everybody worked it out that it was Trisha. So he they were talking about Trisha and he reached out to her and was like, heads up, these people ain't your friends. They talking mad shit behind your back. Oh, Rich Lux was also there, another canceled. But, you know, they were talking trash about her and he reached out and let her know and she was like she was trying to play it off and act like it wasn't her and that it didn't mean that much like she just left taj out there to 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 drive because people are like oh it's a lie it's it's not true blah 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 and she never st stood up and defended him and said yeah it was true because i guess she was scared of jeffree star anyway taj made that video and i thought he was very sincere and i you know it, it nothing about it surprised me because i know jeffree star is like that and i know that don't i'm not questioning anything jeffree star is that person you can't see smoke without fire like all these people talking about jeffree star and y'all still here like oh well it's just allegations now nah, that's him stop playing you see that's him that's who he is so anyway trisha came out now because the hair by jay guy made a video where he trashed trisha talking about how she broke because she rents her house instead of buying it because jeffree star was on a podcast with rylan 
who is Shane's fiance, husband, whoever. They were on a po- podcast and Jeffree Star was making a joke like, oh, like, unlike other YouTubers, I buy my house. So uh, my mortgage is really low. Other people rent. And that was pretty much a dig at Trisha because she rents. But at the same time, it's like, what is wrong with renting? Like, not everybody wants to be a homeowner. Do you know what goes into home ownership? Excuse me. And not everybody wants to be tied down to a certain location. Maybe they want to move around or maybe they have different priorities. Maybe they can't fucking afford it. Listen, it's not just a mortgage. It's a long-term commitment. And as a single woman, I can understand why Trisha wouldn't want to buy a house. Like that responsibility as a single woman, maybe she don't want to be bothered, okay? She's out here like moving about. She don't want to be tied down to this one little bit. Anyway, anyway. He's out there, here by Jay, calling her all kinds of names, talking about her skin, talking about her weight, talking all kinds of things about, oh, she ugly and she this, and like, just being nasty, right? Misogynistic and nasty. Nothing about his video was right at all. Like, let's get that out the way. Nothing about his video was okay. But Trisha now, she saw the video and she came on, I guess she was on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok, okay? I don't care about this foolishness on TikTok. So she was on TikTok crying and carrying on about how hurt she was and how triggered she was but here's my thing about Trisha here's my thing and I may be in the minority here Trisha does the same damn thing to other people when she was coming at Charlie D'Amelio this 16 year old 16 she was coming at Charlie Dixie and James Charles all way younger than her young kids that are still developing like still finding their way still trying to figure things out and they're allowed to have make mistakes okay they're supposed to be growing and learning instead of trying to guide them in the right way like she's there like going after them and talking all kinds of crap so much so that charlie was on tiktok or something crying about the hate that she was getting because of trisha so trisha listen you are no angel here and you got a taste of your own medicine not saying what here by jay did was right at all at all but let's flip it. You got a taste of your own medicine and now you want to cry? So now you're experiencing the same feelings that you made other people feel. How does it feel now when the shoe's on the other foot? You are such trash. I swear to God. When she was digging into James Charles, not worried about his mental health. When she's digging into Dixie and Charlie and whoever else she's digging into. Is she worried about their feelings and their mental health? No. So why should somebody else be worried about yours? Not saying here by Jay is right. But let's, let's put it out there. You put certain energy out in the world and you get it back. Listen, don't be crying now. That's how I feel about it. If you're out here being toxic and being nasty and that shit come right back to you, just know that that's karma karma now you feel how those other people feel so i don't want to hear it i'm not defending her i don't care okay here by jay was wrong as hell but so is trisha they're all trash they're all toxic and now she's talking about how jay shane is not my friend he is only um friends with 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 jeffree star now even though we've been friends for 12 years and he dropped me for jeffree star because he's a cash cow Of course, you, listen, don't act like a part of your friendship with Shane was not for the notoriety, okay? For the numbers, for the views, and for the money, okay? The opportunities that Shane could afford you. Not saying that your friendship didn't develop into something more genuine, but let's be honest here, okay? Y'all are all using each other for the views and the clout. So don't come over here acting like you're all pristine and clean, okay, miss? Okay? I understand you're probably feeling bad because Shane dropped you over a two-year friendship with Jeffree Star because Jeffree Star brings him more money. I understand that, and you want Shane to defend you because you are out here defending him. You defended him so much to the point that you were dragging James Charles through the mud, and you were their little attack dog. They used you as their attack dog, and now you feel some type of way because they dropped you. Listen, karma is a whole bitch, and here you are reaping what you sowed, so... I don't feel bad for Trisha. Do I think it's wrong what Shane is doing to her, what Jeffree Star is doing to her in Hair by Jay? Yeah, I do. But at the same time, it's still hard to feel bad for her or to feel sympathetic because she goes around and does the same thing to other people. You get what I'm saying? So I don't feel bad. At the end of the day, I do not feel bad. I feel more sympathy and empathy for good people that are genuinely out here just being really good people, trying their best to be positive influences and getting dogged out than I feel for somebody who's out here being dramatic, 
being a troll and dogging other people out and then getting a taste of their own medicine. So that's how I feel about Trisha. Not saying that what they're doing to her is right because it's misogyny at its finest. It is nasty what they're doing to her. And they're trash. But guess what? You sleep with dog, where you get? Flee. So when you... <laughs> Listen, in Jamaica we say you play with puppy, puppy lick your mouth. You play with big dog, big dog bite you. So you put yourself in that circle and now you're reaping what you're sowing. So I don't feel bad for none of these people. Let them fight amongst themselves. You need to choose your friends better, okay? In the future, you need to think about what the hell you're putting out there in the universe, that energy, and wonder about what's coming back to you, okay? Because everybody, everybody, I've put out negative energy and I've reaped some of those consequences, child, and I'm like, ooh! Oh, I better try to be better. I better try to be a nicer person. But at the same time, it's like, I knew what I put out there and it's coming right back. And it's not like these people are young. Like, Trisha, Shane, and Jeffrey, they're not young where you could be like, oh, they're still learning. No, they are grown, okay? So they should be out here knowing better. They should understand that there are consequences and repercussions to your actions. So anyway, that is what I feel about all of them. Is there anybody else to talk about? No, I don't care. All of them are trash. Let's be honest, okay? All right, I'm hot again. I am hot. It is 30-something degrees outside, but you know when you're talking and you're getting worked up. This is why I don't need to be doing these car chats and getting worked up. Anyway, I am on my way. I'm going into Walmart because I want to get um, some Black Opal Beauty. So Black Opal rebranded, and I'm trying to pick up some of the stuff. But that is it for me. <laughs> I just did a full like synopsis of all of these dramas that I really don't want to devote that much energy to and, and a whole video on each individual one. But you know, all of these people are trash. Moral of the story is be careful what you put out in the universe because you will reap it. You will reap it in the long run. Trust and believe. So anyway, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are doing well. Please, please practice social distancing. Please be careful out there in these streets. My nails need to be glued back on. It's a whole situation. Somebody calling me. Oh God, Lord have mercy. Here's what's happening, all right? My nails are out here needing to get glued back on. I am a tragic mess out here in these streets. But I hope you guys are still staying safe and well and sane. Sometimes you just need to talk about frivolous and petty things just to entertain yourself. And that's exactly what we did here. So I'm going to go now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.